tubes. This video is going to be changing an O2 sensor on this 2001 Maxima. Um, it's been getting for about eight months this random P0160 uh, error that pops up every now and then. I was able to get it to pass emissions even with that because um, uh, what would happen is I couldn't get the O2 um, category to come to completed on the uh, for the state test but since the age of this car I'm allowed one category is not complete and still pass so I was able to do that get it to pass so it's good for another year but he's getting bad gas mileage because of that the um, that P0160 it's got a uh, uh, it randomly comes on and off it happens more when it's cold outside and the car is just idling not running it's idling um, so in, in the um, I'll insert a picture of the schematics of where these O2 sensors are in this car um, here's the um, schematics you see we're gonna focus on the bottom one here so you can see the uh, bank 2 sensor 2 is right here and that corresponds to right here it's the second to the from the left uh, and it says that it's red some of the tools i'm going to need is a jack jack stands a new ot sensor for it uh this is a denso uh this is for bank two sensor two there's the part number for it um a uh, O2 uh, oxygen sensor socket, which my neighbor lent me. I, this may or may not work. A 7th ace wrench. Um, some regular uh, metric wrenches and metric socket set. Some uh, WD-40 type stuff, parenting oil. Uh, parts tray. Um, what else? Uh... Oh, and there is a heat shield that I have to get off of it because of where it is. It's up underneath the car. Let me explain where these, uh, what it is. Okay, the number one cylinder, and this is a V6, is over here. So the number one cylinder is where bank one is. That's this one over here. This is bank one. Bank two is this one. Okay, so since it's bank is this since my air code is bank two sensor two that means it's bank two which is this one and it's after the cat uh the catalytic converter bank one sensor one you see this that's that's bank one i mean bank two sensor two bank two sensor two is underneath and according to wiring schematics the actual one these are all your o2 sensors connectors so the one for bank two sensor two is a red wire, which is this one, which is going to be that one. Uh, yesterday I got underneath it and I sprayed it down as best I could without taking the heat shield off of it. That's protecting it to uh, in preparation for today. I've just ran it for a couple minutes because I needed to drive it around just to get it into the garage. And I'm gonna go, now I'm going to go uh, jack it up and and um uh try to try to get it out now it's the hardest part of these is getting it out i've never changed one before i've seen videos on how to do it, it seems once you get the sensor out it's pretty not that bad now since we're dealing with electrical we're going to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery okay now we're particular sensor we're going to is there a red wire going to it let me see if i can get some light on it okay the sensor see that little bit of red right there is that that one uh that's the bank two sensor two. This 
one here I think is, I don't remember. Oh, this is the one we gotta, we're gonna have to get, uh, get out. And because it's a red wire, it's also red on the diagram. And to get that, I got these three bolts to get this shield off and then get to get to it. I just hope I can get it, uh, get my wrench in there to, to with the oxygen sensor socket to get it out. Uh, and also gonna douse it with uh, some uh, hey, oil. I, I was able to get it loose. Uh, I used a 7 8 open end wrench. The O2 socket I had uh, wouldn't work. This, need, this requires the um, offset O2 socket. Uh, so what I did is I used the 7 8 wrench and the penetrating out and I was able to get it loose. So yeah, I, I'm just gonna unscrew this and get the other one in. My phone is dying, so I need See? to. Got it out here. Here's the oxygen sensor. Uh, I got it out. Yeah. Using this to slowly get it out. Be really careful because you can gall these up, especially the, uh, those, of you, those of you who live up north. Um, and when you put this back, when you when you put the new one on, you put you put anti seize uh, on these threads, but do not get it on the sensor. Oops. Finally got it out. It was a pain in the butt. There was uh, there was one of these clips that was stuck to that wouldn't come out. Just setting them up side by side. Connector looks the same. The uh, new one, this is the new one, the one that's black. It is a little bit longer, but that's okay. Um, so they give you a packet of anti seize. You don't get this on the sensor itself, just put it on the threads as you when you thread it in. Otherwise, you'll never get this thing off. Okay, I got it threaded in. That was not really hard. And I tried to route this wire up here. In order to get it up here, I dropped a rope down and tied a, a, knot, a knot in it, tied it to this, so I could then come up here and just pull it, uh, pull it up. So, this has been uh, harder than I thought, but uh, still not as bad as it could be. This is several hours later. Uh, turns out this Denso sense oxygen sensor, that's the one that's supposed to fit Bank 2 sensor 2, does not fit. And this plug will not fit into the, um, into the right place uh, on the, uh, on it. Now if you go look, this is the original one. You see those grooves right here on the side? They're at the top. This one in there, they're in the center. So they wouldn't fit. I have no idea. So I'm gonna have to send this back. I went and got a a, a Bosch one that, at the local uh, auto parts store. Uh, they, they didn't have a Denso in stock. So I already got that one installed, screwed it in, took the other one out, screwed it in, got it all here tight. Uh, just tightening uh, button stuff up, and then I got to put the heat shield back on. Now for it, for a start, I got everything all plugged in. There was a couple of those tie things I couldn't get into the place that, but uh, I zip tied stuff. I got my scan tool, uh, so I can look at things, and I'm gonna go start it now. Let's see, this is in real time. Oh. I gotta, the stupid me. I gotta reconnect here. Okay. I'm gonna start the car. Let's take a look. No check engine light. There wasn't one before, but that's okay. So, that's cool. I'm uh, gonna uh, drive around and put my scanner on it while I drive it. Later, tubes.